The loopback test is used to check that the Z100 EIS system is working properly prior to connecting an external potentiostat. To do this, the system is connected to an internal null resistor. To do the test, in the device menu, you should choose loopback and then click on run. The system performs a number of measurements to determine the appropriate internal gain levels. It produces an audible alarm when an unsuccessful trial measurement is made. Once it's found the appropriate settings, it starts testing the internal resistor and it generates a result one at a time. It starts at the, the initial frequency here and will go through to the final frequency which can take a few minutes to complete. At the bottom of the screen it shows the test it's doing out of 64. This is the frequency it's doing here and this is the file that it's saving it to. You can follow the measurement by looking at the tabs along here. The result tab displays the numerical impedance values measured and computed at each frequency. Monitoring shows the applied voltage and output currents. Lissajou shows an XY display of the applied voltage and the output current. The Nyquist plot plots the real Z versus the imaginary Z. The Bode plot shows the magnitude versus frequency. AI1 and AI2 display the current and voltage AC and DC values. The loopback test confirms that the system is working properly. Once it's finished, you should remember to disable loopback in the device menu.